Good morning, all of you. My name is Karthik Kumar. Welcome to Sri Sai Jaya School. And I am dealing the subject of chemistry. And today's session is for the class six chapter oxidation and reduction. It is the continuation of oxidation number. In the previous two classes, we have discussed the definition of oxidation number and rules of finding oxidation number and oxidation number of radicals. Now, coming to this session, the part three of oxidation number. Now, it is related to the structure of the given compound. Now, if they given a the compound ClO5, its name is chromium pentoxide. Chromium pentoxide. As following previous rules, chromium is the d block element and uh, oxygen having the charge minus 2. Then uh, Cl plus 5 of minus 2 equal to 0. Then uh, chromium may get uh, the oxidation number that is plus 10. But here it is highly impossible. Highly impossible. Now the maximum oxygen state is only plus 8. Especially in some compounds it is obey like rubidium and osmium. But uh, chromium is showing here plus 10 oxygen state. Hence it is wrong. Then how can we find the oxidation number of chromium in case of CrO5 based upon structure? Chromium is the central atom and it is forming a double bond with the one oxygen atom and a peroxide linkage with the respective oxygen atom, peroxide linkage. Peroxide linkage, oxygen shows minus one, now here also minus one, minus one, minus one. Oxygen with the double bond shows minus 2. Now chromium is less electronegative and oxygen is more electronegative. Now with the one peroxide linkage, chromium may get here plus 1. One more peroxide, second peroxide plus 1. Third peroxide plus 1. Fourth peroxide plus 1. And oxygen minus 2. Then the overall charge is given as Minus 1 and with minus 2 the oxygen, then chromium may get plus 2 here. Plus 1, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1, plus 1. Then chromium may get overall oxidation number that is plus 6. Now in this case, Cr plus 6 in a chromium pentoxide, Cr O5. Now coming to the second compound that is H2S2O8. Number of uh, atoms in the given compound 2 hydrogen, 2 sulfur, 8 oxygen. Its total loss of atomicity is 12. Atomicity is 12. Now, its name is uh, Marshall's acid. <coughs> Marshall's acid. Now, while following the normal rules, 2 hydrogen atoms, 2 sulfur atoms, 8 oxygen atoms. The underlying element in the given compound is sulfur. Therefore, 2 into 1, 2s plus 8 into minus 2 equal to 0, 2s minus 16 plus 2, you may get the minus 14, 2s equal to minus 14 becomes plus 14 here, then s may get the plus 7, but it is wrong, but it is wrong. Now what is the manufacturing method of H2S2O8? How can we say that sulfur showing plus 7? Sulfur belongs to the, sulfur belongs to 16 group element. In the previous class, we learned that 16 group element shows the oxidation number that is plus 6 to 
minus 2. Then plus 7 doesn't present in the 68. Now, progression method of Marshall's acid H2S2O8, H2SO4, sulfuric acid. When we are taking 2 moles of sulfuric acid, 2 moles of sulfuric acid, H2. OH OH Now one more sulfuric acid OH with the OH double bond with the two oxidants What is the valency of sulfur in the given structure? Now peroxide linkage minus 1 peroxide here minus 1 oxide minus 2 oxide minus 2 then sulfur make it here plus 6 sulfur make it plus 6 now in this case also sulfur make it plus 6 now while combining the two sulfur gas molecules and by dehydrogenation dehydrogenation represents removing of a hydrogen molecule dehydrogenation then H2 going to get removed then it may form the peroxy bond that is O O peroxy bond and the remaining satisfied with the sulfur double bond with the two oxidants single bond with OH double bond with the two oxidants single bond with the OH now hence the linkage is peroxy bond peroxy linkage peroxide linkage now by this structure we can say that the oxidation number of sulfur in the H2S2O8 is plus 6 plus 6 similarly in case of a third one that is Kero's acid Kero's acid now here also we are following the rules given in the earlier classes two hydrogen ions hydrogen belongs to one A group Sulfur we have to find underlying element that is sulfur and our 5 oxygen atoms the total charge is 0 2 into 1 2 plus sulfur plus 5 of minus 2 equal to 0 yes minus 10 plus 2 minus 8 s yes, minus 8 equal to 0 then s equal to plus 8 now sulfur doesn't show the plus 8 oxidation number as earlier we discussed that sulfur belongs to the group 68 belongs to the belongs to 68 group hence what is the range of oxidation number plus 6 to minus 2 plus 6 to minus 2 then sulfur with the on peroxide layers, double bond with O, double bond with O, as earlier we discussed that, double bond with O, and double bond with another oxygen here OH, now here also OH. It is the structural formula of sulfuric acid and uh, oxygen atom, number of oxygen atoms are 5 then one more oxygen going to form the interlinkage with the heterolytic cleavage heterolytic heterolytic cleavage of the bond then it may form a sulfur with the peroxy bond and OH now remaining here Double bond with two oxygen atoms, single bond with the hydroxide. Now coming to the charges, oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur. Then oxygen shows here minus one, here also minus one. Double bond with sulfur, oxygen shows minus two, now here also minus two. Minus two, minus two, minus four, minus four, minus one, minus five, minus five, minus one, minus six. S minus six equal to zero, then sulfur make it. S minus 6 equal to 0, then sulfur may get the plus 6 oxidation number. In this session, 
we are going to find the oxidation number of that particular element based upon the structure of the given organic or inorganic compound. It is the end of that oxidation number topic. Thanks for watching.